What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be doing something very special. As you guys know, my birthday was the other day, and I tried to think of a video that would be personal for my birthday, and I couldn't think of one until the other day on my birthday. It was, you know, it was before that. It was, it was you know, it, 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 it was too damn late to post it on my birthday, all right? So today, I'm going to be doing that video, and I figure, what a better video. I thought I had done this video before, but apparently I have not. I searched it up on my my channel's like, damn, I've never done this video before. I've done like top 10 figures of the year and I've done the best elites of the year and done stuff like that. And I've done my favorite fix ups and all kinds of stuff like that. But I've never done my all time favorite Mattel WWE figures. And today we're going to do it. We're finally going to do it. And I cannot wait to showcase this list. You know, it took me a while. I had to, I had to search through, man. I had to freaking break things down and get things ready for you guys. But I think I finally have my ultimate list. Now it was very hard to come up with this list. I spent a day coming up with this thing. Thing. And you know what? There are some figures that you could probably add on and then some take off. And you know, you could go back and forth on it all day. But I think I've appiled the list. And I'm interested to know what your favorite all-time figure is down in the comment section below. So definitely let me know. And if you guys would like to see the flip side of this video, which would be my least favorites of all time, please let me know, guys. But we're sticking it straight to Mattel. This is all about Mattel. We're not including Jackson stuff. Maybe we can do that another day because I do have some freaking gems that I'd like to put in there. But as for today, guys, we're talking about only Mattel WWE action figures in this video. So let's shut the hell up, get my dumb ass out of the way, and let's just, yeah, we can't look at him. We can't be just looking at him the whole time. We gotta, yeah, we gotta focus. So let's start things off, guys. Coming in at an early series with Elite Four John Morrison. Now, this one is obviously, uh, if, you, if anybody owns this figure out there, you know how damn good this is. Look how beautiful this is. These are not the glasses that came with it. I had to make custom glasses because I lost mine, damn it. But you have this beautiful freaking fur coat that is just outstanding. The articulation on this guy is fantastic. He has the pine cone joints, but you would never never know. This man can do all the things that John Morrison can, can really do and I love Johnny Mundo in real life and this figure translates perfectly. I love using him in the pick fed. It is highly detailed. I think they got a perfect body mold. I love the parts choices. This belt buckle piece is a great piece for any customs. This thing is a gem guys. So if you own this you know how great it is but I could not leave Johnny Mundo off my freaking football list man. Had to include that figure. Let's move on to a more recent figure guys. I'm going with the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. This is probably one of the newer ones on this list, and it is freaking outstanding. This figure is by God amazing. Another reason why it's... A, a lot of figures on this list are going to be super accurate, super fun to pose around, and just very beautiful or bring back memory slash nostalgia for me. So I am going to go with this Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. The attire is beautiful. I love the striped boots. The articulation is there. I have plugged this figure in so many videos talking about how damn good it was, and I think it came in at like my fourth best figure of the year or something like that when we did our 2019 countdown and that just tells you how damn good that thing is. Let's move on to our next figure guys. We have an ultimate edition figure which may shock you but it is the ultimate edition Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate coming in in my list. This guy is so freaking good man. I don't know what it is but I love how seamless the figure is. If you guys know what I mean, it doesn't even look like it can, you know what I'm saying? It looks kind of like a statue but the way they've hidden this joint inside this diaphragm right here. Even though it doesn't get the greatest articulation ever, it just looks beautiful. I love picking this guy up. I love the accessories he comes with. I love the double jointed arms, obviously. And he's just a freaking mountain of a man. It's just super fun to pose around with. If you guys have it, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you haven't tracked down the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar, this is a freaking gem in the collection. I love this thing by far. It, it is a freaking beast. When I mean, it, it, they captured the beast in a figure and there he is. Let's move on to some Jeff Hardy figures, guys. I could not just pick one Jeff Hardy, so I tried to narrow it down to my top three. I got the Survivor Series Walmart exclusive. I just love this head sculpt so much that I have to put it on here. And then I love the pink attire and I love the shirtless mold. Look at this right here, the beautiful tattoo on the back. I added the new tattoo, obviously, but all this tattoo detail on the back right here. Let's get a zoom in football shot of it. You guys can see all the tattoo details with, obviously, the brand new tattoo in there, but uh, this is a beautiful specimen piece. I freaking love this piece. It is a, uh, it's 
it's actually pretty rare nowadays. I think it goes for like $45, $50 loose or something, which is kind of crazy for a Mattel Elite figure loose. But had to include the Elite 57. Jeff Hardy's one of my favorites of all time. So Jeff Hardy figures hit me right in the nostalgia butthole. So I got to plug in the Jeffs. And the Survivor Series may be my favorite. I hate that it's missing some details, but it's still freaking outstanding. And then the Elite 71, that pink attire. You guys know I love pink and you can head swap it. I'm trying to go based off of, you know, straight out of the packaging figures. I'm not trying to, you know, fix up and stuff. So I, I tried my best to do that, but, you know, when compiling the list, but uh, I could not leave off that figure right there. So we got uh, we got three Jeff Hardys in there, so leave me alone. Moving forward, guys, we do have a John Cena, and it is the Defining Moments Draft Lottery John Cena with a custom jersey on there. I know it is what it is, but I freaking love this figure. This is how he is posed up on the shelf. I did customize the shoes to look like his Reebok pumps from the time, and uh, it does not have the Cena on the back because... Uh, I, I don't know why it does it. The freaking Mattel version has Cena 13. I don't know why it doesn't have the... It's supposed to be a uh, Spirit of St. Louis Malone jersey. And it's supposed to say 13 Malone, but uh, we, we didn't get that put on there, which is unfortunate. I need to get that made, but this figure's a specimen. It's a beauty. Hits me right in the nostalgia feels, even though it's not the best moment or anything. I just remember tracking down this figure when I first saw Mattel figures, and it was one of the first figures from Mattel that I ever owned, so I, I love this one a lot. The, the Finding Moments first one, John Cena. Let's get it started, guys we got to include another Defining Moments figure, and this one is nostalgia all the freaking way. This is the Defining Moments Chris Jericho, where he captured the World Heavyweight and WWF titles in one night. I remember watching this pay-per-view live as a freaking five-year-old, and this figure, when I first saw it, I remember doing the review. You could probably find it on my channel. Probably really cringeworthy review on there, but I just love this figure, man. Just looking at it, I go back to five years old every single time, and you display him with the freaking championships, and he looks just beautiful. I think they captured it great. I always loved this attire as a kid. I was a huge Chris Jericho fan growing up. He was actually my first favorite wrestler alongside Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit. And just growing up watching Jericho, still watching him today, this figure is beautiful and I love it. And I'm so glad that Mattel made this figure in a defining moment. Need to track that hoedown mock is what I need to do. All right, guys, moving on. We do have a more recent figure right here. We have the Elite 74. I thought we had an Elite 72. Ray is the latest. This one's pretty late too. We got the Elite 74. Finn Balor. This is pretty much a damn perfect piece, man. I, I love this figure. I think it came in at my number one spot for the top figures of 2019. You get the cloth goods jacket with the Balor Club logo from the Royal Rumble where he took on Brock Lesnar. I love these tights. I love the Universal Championship gear, the white kick pads, the, the details on the back. You even got the smiley-faced Finn. You got the freaking interchangeable hands. I mean, you put two sweet hands on this guy and you will cream yourself. I love this figure. I think it's fantastic, and I really want to use it in the pick fed, but who the hell knows when that'll be. Can't get away from this figure. That thing is a beast mode. Now, speaking of Finn Balor, guys, I had to put this on my list. It is the ultimate edition Finn Balor. Now, when I saw this figure, I lost my damn mind. The uh, the main reason this thing is in here is just the head sculpt alone, and then the double jointed arms. I mean, how do you beat this thing? I love the tongue out head sculpt. It looks so good. I love this. Look at that right there. I mean, that is beautiful. All the paint detail you got going on, the double jointed arms. You get all these accessories. I just love this. I love this. It's one of my favorite Ultimate Editions, and you get all these great details with it. I love all the double jointed stuff. It's just one of my favorite pieces to look at. Super poseable, super detailed, and the tongue out head sculpt is just immaculate. I had to put my boy Finn Balor on the list twice, but you know it is what it is, man. I, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I, I did my best. You know what? Put him in the middle right there. Put him in the middle right in the gappage, and, and we'll call it a day. Stand the hell up. Speaking of Ultimate Edition, guys, we're moving on to this figure. Now, you're going to say that's not Ultimate Edition, and I know this isn't Ultimate Edition, but we are getting an Ultimate Edition John Cena, and that is what this figure represents because this is obviously not the Ultimate Edition. It is the attire that the Ultimate Edition will be, but I can tell by pictures and by all the stuff we're getting about that Ultimate Edition Cena, it's going to be one of my favorite Cenas, if not my favorite Cena that Mattel's ever released. It's the Royal Rumble attire. Hustle, loyalty, respect. You got the black and orange. I have this custom made, obviously, but the official the official one is going to be beautiful with the double jointed arms and the beautiful torso and the shoe details. That Ultimate Edition John Cena is going to be beautiful, so I did want to plug him in in the video here, and we're going to move on, but I did have to plug that Ultimate Edition John Cena. Moving on, guys, we do have an Elite 27 Rob Van Dam. Now, this is the only Elite Rob Van Dam that we've ever gotten from Mattel, and it is super duper unfortunate because this guy is beautiful. I know it's fixed up. The original head sculpt wasn't very good. He did have large knee pads on, but besides the 
fact it's an RVD and you do the minimal fix up and it's freaking immaculate. It's a freaking piece, man. I love this even though the attire isn't great. I feel like the attire gets a shit ton of hate just because I guess because, you know, it wasn't one of his classic attires that they could have picked. They could have picked any attire and they went with this bogus attire but it doesn't look bad in figure form. I love all the colors that we're getting with it and stuff but uh, a lot of people do dog on this figure but I really do love it. I, I love RVD. Always been a huge RVD fan so this figure for me is in my all time list and I could not leave it out. We're moving him into the pile and we're going to put him near the back. Now moving on guys we have another one of my favorite wrestlers and this is going to be the Elite 70 Chase variant Dolph Ziggler. Of course he does have the interchangeable arms on there that are the skinnier arm mold so he does come with those ginormous arms but that's not going to deduct any football points. He also comes with the cloth jacket, the Ziggler jacket that's so beautiful and the pink attire is just uh, it's so good. I love it so much. You got heel crew on there. You got all the great details. I love this figure so freaking much. I use this at Hell's Gate and it's just a great piece. If you own this figure you know how shiny it is. It just stands out. The saturation of it is beautiful and I had to include my boy Dolph Ziggler. It's easily the best Dolph Ziggler. A lot of people don't like this figure but you know what Brad? It's my football list. Make your own football list. How about that? Alright guys moving on. I bet you guys could have picked out this figure on this list. I mean you you, you guys already know I, I praise this figure too damn much but it's gonna be the ultimate edition Rowdy Ronda football Rousey in the house. This figure I mean what do I have to say? It's the best women's figure that Mattel's ever made hands down. The articulation is so crazy. She can jump Nia right in the throat. She can put you in the rear naked choke while you're asleep and choke you out and you'll wake up at the gates of freaking heaven, Brad. This figure is so crazy and another figure that, you know, if you own it, you know. If you know, you know. If you have this figure, you pose it around, you will fall in love with it. If you love pick fetting or you love posing around figures, this is the figure for you and just picking this thing up and posing her around is super fun and I really want her to return. Now that Becky's off TV, you know, going away to be pregnant, we need to have Ronda Rousey return and lift up that women's division because this figure right here is a piece. This figure right here sets the standard, man. She'll kick your ass while you sleep. Look at her. Perfect embodiment of an action figure. We're gonna just put Roddy Roundy Rid Rizzy Ridgeway right there. And for our last two figures, guys, you know we couldn't go a whole list without my boy Seth freaking Rollins. So we got two Rollins in the house and we are going with the Toys R Us cast gen exclusive with a couple fix up parts on it and we're going with the Elite 45 you guys know I had to do it you basically have the opposite ends of the spectrum here with the black and gold versus the white and gold but this figure just brings back great nostalgia for me I just love looking at it the figure in the packaging was beautiful I love the attire I did switch out the arms I gave him the glove mold hands and I gave him chest hair and I gave him open knee pads but if you just get the figure out the packaging you know how damn great it is you pair the money in the bank chase briefcase from the basics with it and it's even more beautiful man this thing right here is a perfect figure to me i love this cash in exclusive i love i miss toys r us and i just miss exclusives being that exciting to find again man i really want that back and then of course the elite 45 is super fun to pose around anybody that pick feds knows you pair it with some stuff i obviously have a different head sculpt on there some open knee pads and a different vest but i wanted it to be the most accurate and the white and gold attire is beautiful in action figure form in real life and I could not leave any of the Seth Rollins figures off so I went it with my top two which is the Elite 45 and the Cash In Exclusive. I probably could have plugged some other Seth Rollins figures in there but this is my all time favorite Mattel WWE figure list. I did my best guys. Randy Orton missed the cut by a few points. There's probably a few other figures out there that I could have put on my list but I call myself narrowing it down to the best of my absolute ability. But that is going to do it for this special video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know if any of these are on your list or what your own personal list is down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. I don't know what the hell to say.